What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today I've got something special for you guys. We're going to dissect how to cut layers in fine hair. Uh, I'm going to make it as simple as possible for you guys so that anytime you go to, to layer fine hair, you're going to think about this technique and it's going to help you to keep that density, keep a nice blunt edge and have a ton of movement in fine hair. So sectioning is simple, uh, deep right hand side parting. So you can see that on her right hand side. And then on the other side, I go a little bit deeper even uh, because that's going to be the heavy side that's the side that's going to kind of fall over cascade over um, because she's going to part her hair in that direction so then the second section that i'm going to take here is separating the front and the back i'm going to do this on both sides so what i do is i want to match up the density so uh, the amount of hair that we have in the back i want to section that away and then the same amount of hair that we have in the front i want to section that away as well so you can see how that hairline kind of moves forward so follow that parting right down to the hairline you'll see that i have a tiny little piece so i take that i move that to the front and that's going to separate the front and back and i just clip that away now to keep this nice and simple we're going to go vertical uh straight down center back and then i'm going to work a balanced line in the very back of the head uh, to start this haircut so keeping everything nice and clean staying organized with the cut that's going to keep this uh consistent throughout the entire time so a nice horizontal section right behind the ear. I do that on both sides and then I can start cutting my line in the back. Now I talk about this a lot and what I wanna get into here is that I, I don't always cut my baseline first, but when I'm working with fine hair, this is tip number one, I really like to cut my baseline first, especially if I'm trying to create a nice uh, illusion of having a thick blunt line at the bottom. So I base the haircut off of the baseline, I cut that baseline uh, all the way through. So we're basically gonna cut a one length haircut on this underneath part of the hair. And what I mean by balanced is if my shoulders, if I'm facing straight on to the back of her head, I'm cutting parallel to my shoulders and her shoulders. So what I'm doing is creating a nice horizontal straight line in the back uh, that's gonna have a little extra weight or length pushed to behind the ear, but not much. And I just wanna keep that line nice and blunt. So I'll take about one inch sections throughout it. Now, if you have a client with fine hair, sometimes you can take a little bit thicker sections and I wanna uh, kind of base that hair, this haircut on that as well. And there's some things that we're gonna do in the front when we start to layer that's gonna be more condensed cutting. So really cutting a lot of hair at once because when you have fine hair, there's no reason to take multiple sections throughout it if you don't need to. As long as you see your guideline through the hair, you're good to go. So I'm gonna continue my way up the head shape I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides and then we're gonna move on to the sides of the head. All right, so now we've finished up the back. Now we're gonna move on to the side. So I take a small guide from the side and I bring that over and I cut a nice balance line on the side of the head. So again, looking at the section, I cut the section parallel to my shoulders. I stand right in front of the section as I'm looking at it. And that's the line that I wanna create. So a nice balance line, we're gonna work our way all the way up the head and then we're gonna move on to the opposite side. So now as I finish off the second side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move into elevating. So elevating the hair creates layering, right? So we haven't layered the hair at all. We've just been cutting a really nice one length, blunt, uh, balanced haircut. Now what I wanna do is I wanna start to elevate slightly 
So this is the part side. So this is the side that she's parting on. What I do is I elevate it up and over, completely condensed section, and I just point cut into it to start to create a little bit of movement, but I don't want a ton of layering on this side of the head because this is gonna be the weakest side. This is all the hair that will ever be sitting over here. The rest of the hair is gonna be sitting on the opposite side of the head. We need that hair to create the illusion of having super thick hair. So just softly layer it like I did, and now we're gonna move into cutting the heavier side and creating all the layers that are gonna live in this cut. So what I do is I want this to live right around her chin length. So look at my finger angle. It mimics the jawline on the opposite side. That creates an angled fringe for me. That's also my guideline. Now I'm gonna lift that entire section up from the top and I'm gonna point cut into it and cut it the length that I just cut my guideline. So uh, super fun because it's a condensed haircut. You can do this because it's fine hair. Uh, I mean, you could do it on thick hair too, but it's just not as practical. Uh, but working with fine hair, you can condense a section down, pull it all over to the one side and cut it. But notice where I pull it to, uh, because if you don't, you're not gonna get those lengths that you want on the opposite side. So look at the explosion of layers that happen just from pulling the hair up over to that side, point cutting into it. So now I'm just gonna kick it up with some Moroccan oil uh, uh, mousse. I'm gonna put that in the hair for a little bit of hold and shine. And then I'm also gonna do a root boost. I'm gonna spray that at the root as well. Cause you want a nice lift to give it that volume uh, as you start to blow dry. So I work that product in, then the blow drying process happens pretty quick. So, and I'm not gonna show all of that to you guys, but what I do is I power dry first. Then I go in with a paddle brush and I smooth the hair out because I want a nice shine and polish to it. And then I finish it off with a wand iron and I just wrap each individual hair around. So I spray uh, Moroccan oil protect on there uh, first, obviously to protect it from the thermal heat. And then I go in with a wand iron and I just individually wrap small sections, get it super curly. And then I break up those curls with my fingers as I work through it, spraying some dry texture spray, some hairspray and just finish it off that way. So you can see the volume that pops on the top. I got my inspiration from a photo I saw online where um, somebody with super fine hair, I could tell, but they wore it all over to the one side and it just looked really, really cool. It looked super full, um, even though they had that fine fabric. So uh, all you fine hair lovers out there, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did hit the subscribe button, I got a ton more videos coming your way. Um, thanks for watching. FreeSalonEducation.com is powered by Minerva Beauty. If you're looking to upgrade your salon furniture or equipment, make sure you check out my friends at MinervaBeauty.com.